Ja. Ja. G'day guys, I'm joined with Jaden Fraser here at the Humble Bike Co. Uh, throughout the year what we're going to try and do is introduce a few riders, um, people in the mountain biking industry and have a little bit of a chat to them and try and learn a little bit more about them and their story. Um, Jaden is a fantastic rider, I'm sure you've seen him uh, some, some great results very recently and uh, he's got a big season ahead. But um, how about we start, we'll start maybe a few years ago or perhaps when you want to start, when did you first start getting interested in mountain biking and what sort of well, pretty much from the start, being a kid, I always was out on my bike, out in the bush outside the back of the house. Um, kind of started there, we kind of started 2016, early 2016, got my first kind of bike, it was actually made for mountain biking, and then it was kind of the wave series that kind of started to all up. A few friends came along to it, and I was just like, this sounds like an awesome event. Um, then we walked up to Pemberton, first run crashed, but just thought this was sick, and then just from then on, it's history really, just every round since then, right, so, so exactly. It's all about fun. Yeah, that's fantastic. Right. Excellent, sweet. So back in 2016 when you started at Edmonton, um, what was what was your sort of uh, aspiration? Were you just looking to have a bit of fun or did you have a little bit of an inkling that you really want to, uh, you know, after a few rounds, try and pursue it a little bit more? Like from the start, it was just all about fun. I just loved riding my bike, that was the main goal. Um, but there was always like, oh, I want to try and do my best. But whatever the podium was at the end of the day, or kind of where the results, I didn't really care. It was just if I had time with my mates, yeah, that was cool. the goal. Cool. So it was just, yeah, and you do your best when you're having fun, I reckon. Yeah, so, awesome, mate. Very good words, good words. Um, so you've uh, obviously been in high school, yep. or you're leaving high school now, going to uni, so you've also got a lot of other things going on yep. in the background, jobs. Uh, sponsored by Humble Bicycle Co. as well, I believe, and yeah. a few other things going yeah. on. So, Trek and Pack Apparel as well. Yeah. Kind of have a really good brand. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So, how do you, do you have a good schedule? How do you balance all that? Yeah, so it's always hard kind of fitting everything in. Last year was pretty difficult, kind of fitting in ATAR and doing student council and the boy and kind of everything at the same time. Um, but now, kind of out of school, just doing my job, but then most of the time I'm just getting out my bike a lot more. So it's just kind of doing those two things and just trying to do them really well. So yeah, I, it is hard to kind of fit everything in, but once you get it, it's just yeah, have fun. Awesome, right? Well, it sounds like having fun is the main, exactly. main thing there. Yeah, which is I'm what sure it's all about it's, mountain yeah. biking and yeah. all that, which is great. Uh, so the year ahead, it sounds like we've got another busy year ahead. Yep. yep. Uh, what are your plans for 2020? So pretty much wave season starting off next week. It'll be awesome. Um, start that off, and then in. Early March, we're heading over to Medina for the AWS Continental Series. So that's kind of just a preemptor, and then we're going into Whistler and we'll so for the AWS. So pretty much, wage. I've never been out of state other than one time for nationals, but all my road to this AWS and Euro nationals and all that kind of stuff has been through wage. Yeah. Like, I don't think, yeah, without this competition, we wouldn't be really anywhere. Um, like all the AWS qualifiers and all that, it's just been through wage. So thanks so much for putting on all these events and having these AWS qualifiers. Oh, mate, mate, oh, but seriously, like, yeah, if we didn't have these AWS qualifiers, I wouldn't be able to do this next level without the competition of my wage. So, awesome. yeah. Yeah, well, and thanks to the EWS as well. Yeah, yeah, you guys exactly. are great. So yeah. you guys have set up a great structure there and it's easy for us to um, you know, get qualifiers and get all our riders on that international stage and try and cater for them and let the riding do the talking. So yeah, cool mate. Well, thanks very much for the chat. That's all we were gonna talk about. We can Perfect. catch up a bit later on maybe in the year yep. after you've done a few AWSs and Sounds awesome. hear yep. about your experiences and things Perfect. like that. But um, best of luck, you're racing next weekend. Next weekend, yep. yep. All, all psyched up to go for that, feeling good. So yep. we'll give awesome. it a good old crack. Terrific, terrific. Well, thanks for chatting, awesome. Jaden, okay. and uh, all the best. And, uh, thanks very much for tuning in guys, a little, little chat here with Jaden Fraser and uh, we'll have a few more coming at you uh, very very soon. Awesome. Nice mate, that was good. Well, good. <laughs> Done. Too smooth. That was too smooth. Yeah, no yeah you didn't even need three. <laughs> I was just trying to talk about a bloody stunt. Done. I'll see you guys mate. This is the Levo S. No it's not, this is a stunt jump. <laughs> oh, good. I was waiting for someone to just like air pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Good night. laughs> Cool, and we've got some B-roll as well, so keep recording all that stuff, it's all, it's all beautiful stuff.